Welcome to our information session on employment services. At this information session today, I will tell you about these services and what supports we have to help you find employment. We have an employment support team to help people looking for work. This process is called activation and it is compulsory. During this process, you will be given a case officer who will support you to find work and explore training and education opportunities that will help you to achieve this goal. There are a number of ways we will support you. Today's information session is the first step in the process to helping you find a job. Here we will explain the activation process and give you information on services and supports to help you with your job seeking efforts. The next step is meeting with your case officer over the phone. You will be assigned a case officer to work with you to develop and agree your personal progression plan. Your case officer will be able to give you more details about the individual supports that are available to help you find work. If you have a CV, your case officer will discuss it with you. If you don't already have a CV, you can create one with the help of your case officer. You can then upload your CV to the Jobs Ireland website. We will talk about this in more detail later on in this video. The third step is regular review sessions with your case officer to review progress on your agreed actions in your personal progression plan. It is also an opportunity for you to ask any questions and receive more information on the services and supports which I will talk about shortly. You will be contacted to arrange your first meeting with your case officer to agree your personal progression plan. After that, you will have regular follow-up calls. A personal progression plan, or a PPP for short, is a plan that outlines your pathway to finding work. You can discuss and agree this with your case officer. Your personal progression plan may also include any education, training or development you may need. It will list agreed actions to help you to get a job and will also include your employment preferences. Your employment preferences should be relevant and realistic and your case officer can use these to match you to suitable vacancies through our job matching system. This plan will be updated and changed to keep in line with your tasks and goals. Before you have your first call with your case officer, it would be helpful if you think about what type of job you would like and what training, education or upskilling supports you might need. Here's a sample of a personal progression plan. As you can see, the plan contains an employment and development plan that you will have agreed with your case officer. There's also a list of any actions that you need to do. Jobs Ireland is a free online service with job vacancies and job matching. To register as a job seeker on Jobs Ireland, you must first register on mygovid.ie. MyGovID is an online identity service where you can access a wide range of online public services in a safe and secure environment. You will need an email address to register for MyGovID. Jobs Ireland brings a number of useful tools for job seekers. Create your own personal profile, which you can use as a CV. Use your profile to be automatically matched to job vacancies, which match your skill set. See the jobs that match to the skills, qualifications and experience in your profile in your matched folder. Apply for jobs directly to employers from the Jobs Ireland site. Edit your profile to make it more relevant to different jobs that you're applying for. File copies of the job applications you've made via the Jobs Ireland system in your own personal applied for folder. Add a cover letter to employers when you're applying for vacancies. Get alerts for large recruitment campaigns, training events and social media posts. Employers can also use Jobs Ireland to contact you about their vacancies. If you are a younger job seeker, we have particular programmes to help you get the work experience and training you need to kickstart your career. The Youth Employment Support Scheme provides a jobs placement where you get work experience with a host employer and your weekly payment will be increased while you are there. There are also special arrangements for participation in community employment schemes for young people. Details of these vacancies are available on jobsireland.ie or you can speak to your case officer. Jobs Ireland is a quick and easy way to help you manage your job seeking journey. Starting back to work is not always easy, particularly if you face new costs associated with this. The department recognises this and has a number of supports in place to help you. 
Working Family Payment is a weekly, tax-free payment for people on low pay. To qualify, you must have at least one child under 18 or a child under 22 who is still attending full-time education, who normally lives with you or is part of a family wholly or mainly supported by you. If you require housing support, such as access to the housing support payment, known as HAP, our Community Welfare Service can assist you and your case officer can refer you to that service. Pending wages payment is a weekly payment administered by a community welfare officer for people on low or no income. This payment can help you if you are re-entering work and will not receive your first wages for quite some time. It is mainly for people who are obliged to work a back week or month. You may be able to keep your medical card if you take up work. Please contact the HSE for more information. The National Child Care Scheme is a scheme that provides financial support to help parents meet the costs of childcare. There is more information available on this scheme from the Department of Children and Youth Affairs. If you are interested in any of these schemes, you can discuss them with your case officer who will advise you and point you in the right direction. To qualify for the short-term enterprise allowance, you must have an awarded Job Seekers Benefit claim, have made an application for a short-term enterprise allowance before engaging in self-employment, and be in a position to start up a viable business as a self-employed person. You will also need to get written recommendation from your local partnership company and case officer in advance of starting your self-employment. You will be paid the equivalent of your weekly Job Seekers Benefit until it expires. The Enterprise Support Grant is open to people on short-term enterprise allowance or back-to-work enterprise allowance. It is subject to total payments of €2,500 in any 24-month period from the date of first approval of back-to-work enterprise allowance. People on the short-term enterprise allowance may qualify for reduced amounts based on a pro rata basis. Tax relief may be available for long-term unemployed people who start up their own business. You can find more details about this on the Revenue website. If you need further training and education to get a job, here are some opportunities. The Back to Education Allowance is a scheme to support you if you attend a second level course or a third level course and you meet certain criteria. Your case officer will recommend if you can apply for this. Springboard are courses provided by contractors, education and training boards and higher education institutions on behalf of the Department of Education and Skills. They will be available when the educational institutions reopen. There are many courses available in your local education and training board, such as literacy, numeracy and digital skills courses, as well as early school leavers courses and courses from levels 1 to 6. Post leaving cert courses are also available from these bodies and you can see more at www.fetchcourses.ie for more information. eCollege is a facility where courses are delivered online with phone or email supports. Many courses are currently free. Find out more at eCollege.ie. The Training Support Grant is a grant that can help pay for short private training courses that aren't provided by the Education and Training Boards. You should discuss your options with your case officer at your first phone meeting. The Vocational Training Opportunity Scheme provides a range of courses for people over 21 years of age who are unemployed and have been getting certain social welfare payments for at least six months. These courses range from basic education and training to advanced vocational training and there is a wide choice of subjects. The courses are full-time and can last up to two years. Many courses lead to qualifications such as the Junior Certificate, Leaving Certificate and awards at levels 3, 4, five and six on the National Framework of Qualifications. You can find a list of VTOS courses on the Qualifax website at www.qualifax.ie. Local area partnership or local development companies can provide advice and guidance for new businesses. Local enterprise offices run courses on how to start your own business and many of these courses are free of charge. You should discuss your options with your case officer at your first phone meeting. Certain fetch courses are now available for free. See fetchcourses.ie for more information. eCollege has 39 online courses covering information technology, 
ECDL digital competency courses, graphic design, Java, and more. Blended online courses are available from education and training boards. Check with your local education and training board for availability. The Construction Industry Federation offers online courses covering COVID-19 safety practices, back-to-work resources, and health and safety. Allison.com provides courses covering technology, language, science, health, and business. TCD Online Learning with FutureLearn has many courses free of charge and include courses in exercise prescription for prevention and treatment of disease, health assessments for people with disabilities, and achieving sustainable development, and more. You can work part-time, up to three days per week, and continue to receive part of your job seeker's payment. This will depend on the payment you are on, how many days you are working, and your average weekly earnings. You should note that if you take up part-time work and are receiving a job seeker's payment for the days you are unemployed, you are required to be genuinely seeking and available for work. Part-time and voluntary work can be a good way of getting back into the workforce, gaining experience and increasing your skills. Your case officer can assist you further with such options. I'm going to talk to you now about the department's transactional website, My Welfare. This website aims to provide our customers with access to their welfare services anytime, anywhere. If you don't have a MyGovID account or a My Welfare account, the next couple of slides will describe the process and the services available. To access My Welfare and much more, you just need to create your MyGovID account. This is simple and all you need is an email address, your PPS number, your public services card and a verified phone. If your phone has not already been verified, you will be offered other options to become verified. If you have not yet received your public services card, you will still be able to access some services. Once you have registered with a verified account, you will be able to view your claim status and details, view details of your payments received in the last two years, notify the department if you change address, request a payment statement or a contribution statement, Submit a request for a job seeker's holiday, close your claim when you find a job, and apply for other schemes that you might be eligible for. When you set up a verified MyGovID account and have logged into MyWelfare, your case officer will give you access to the Works and Skills form. If you haven't set up your account before your first phone meeting, your case officer will help you to do this. Once your case officer has done this, you will get an email from us telling you there is a notification in your My Welfare inbox. The Work and Skills form will be accessible from the link in the notification. We are here to help you find work. It is really important that you engage with your case officer and you can prepare for your first phone meeting by registering with Jobs Ireland and then completing your profile, thinking about education and training options that could help you to find work and keeping details of the jobs you have already applied for. Here is a list of websites you may find helpful in your job search. This list also includes a range of organisations that can provide other useful information, such as information on training and education, money advice, and welfare to work information. Thank you for watching this information video, and we will be in contact with you soon. If you have any questions, please ask your case officer at your first meeting or contact your local Intrio Centre.